I want to share with you five easy new year fashion and style resolutions for 2024. Hey, my name is Cherie and welcome to my channel. This is the time of year where everyone is writing out their new year resolutions. So here are five fashion and style new year resolutions that you may want to put on your list. Number five, iron or steam your clothing. A lot of the time we have these great ideas when it comes to styling. We want to look our best and part of looking your best is making sure that your clothes are relatively wrinkle free. There are levels to wrinkles. A shirt that maybe you've been sitting in for a while and it will naturally get creases and wrinkles in them. I'm talking about the t-shirt that is fresh out of the laundry and you just throw it on. If you just take one moment to just steam out your t-shirt or your shirt, your jeans, whatever the case may be, your outfit is going to look a lot better. I actually don't own an iron, but I own a steamer. Number four, shop your closet. There are so many cases where I go into stores and I see things that I want, I pick it up, I bring it home, and then I realize, I'm like, you know what, I actually have something similar to this in my closet already. So why did I buy this again? Before you go out and spend the extra money on, I don't know, a new pair of wide leg jeans, look in your closet. You may just have one, two, nine pairs of that same jean. When you do go online shopping or shopping in stores, you can say, all right, I like these jeans, but I already have a pair similar to them, so I don't need to buy these. I just saved you $50. Number three, shop with intentions. Sometimes you just gotta ask yourself why. Why am I buying this item? Why do I need this item? Why do I want this item in my closet? Ask yourself simple why questions. That is automatically you shopping with intentions. Another question you can ask yourself when you're looking at a particular item is, how many outfits can I make with this one item? So let's say you're in a store and you see a, a sequenced mini skirt. Ask yourself, can I create three to five different outfits with using this one mini skirt? That's a question for you. I can't answer that. <laughs> if the answer to that question is yes, well, then you need to start listing out those items. All right, I could wear this mini skirt with a t-shirt and a leather jacket over it and some thigh-high boots. Start listing out ways that you can wear that item. And I only came up with one just now. Maybe you can come up with two or three, but try to hit a number like, three to five so if you buy that item you know that you already have three to five ways that you can wear that item and honestly it's a little bit more justified i have items in my closet right now that i purchased off of impulse i just felt like it was cute i felt like it was a beautiful color but i never really thought about how i would wear that item until i got it home or until it just sat in my closet for two, three years. So shop with intentions and stop consuming a bunch of clothes that you probably won't wear more than once. Number two, return the clothes. <laughs> How many times have you purchased a bunch of items and they probably were fairly inexpensive and you felt like, all right, it doesn't fit well, but it was only $5, so I'll just put it in my drawer. No, return that item. That same package had four or five other items that didn't fit well. That could be $30, $40 that you're just throwing in your drawer to sit so that, I don't know, in two years, you'll go through your drawer and then all of a sudden you don't need those items anymore and you're just giving them away to Goodwill. You didn't even wear them. So my advice to you would always be return that item, return the things that don't fit you well, return the things that you don't feel inspired by, return the things that you know are going to sit in your closet for two years unworn. You don't need it, return it, save yourself some cash. I'm very passionate about this one. And number one is my favorite, 
set a shopping budget. I absolutely hate going through my emails because I already know that I'm going to get a bunch of promotions and coupons for stores that I love to shop in. But this year, things will be different. We are going to set a shopping budget, okay? If you're a person who loves and enjoys shopping, set a budget. And that budget depends on your lifestyle. Like, I can't set that budget for you. So if you say, you know what, I only want to spend $100 every month on fashion, that will be your budget. However, what's important with the budget is that you don't go over that amount on the monthly basis. So if you do set a $300 shopping budget, once you hit that $300 or near or close to it, you should not be shopping anymore. You should have to wait till the following month. I'll go as far as to say maybe set a bi-monthly shopping budget or a seasonal shopping budget. So let's say at the beginning of every season, you spend $300 on clothing items. That will be your budget. So that technically means you're only shopping four times a year. If it's bi-monthly, you could shop in January, spend, I don't know, let's say a $200 budget in January. February, you're not buying anything at all. But here comes March, you get another $200, right? So maybe bi-monthly or whatever the case may be. As long as there's a budget in place so that you know where to stop when you need to. That is very important for 2024. Let me know which fashion and style resolution resonated the most with you. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching one of these and I will see you very soon. Peace.